Hello and welcome to the Coding Bytes. I am Abhishek Parmar and in this video, I am going to solve a question of TCS and QT, which was asked previously. So the question is, a programming language has the following keywords that cannot be used as identifiers. So you are given a list of some keywords like break, case, continue, default, etc. And you have to write a program to find if the given word is a keyword or not. So you will be given an input, which will be a string. So you have to print whether that string is a keyword or that string is not a keyword. For example, as you can see in the sample input, if the input is case, so as you can see the output will be case is a keyword because this is a part of the keywords which were given in the question. So first of all, let's understand how we can solve this problem. So what we are going to do is, first of all, we are going to take two dimensional array of 16 rows and 10 columns. And after that, we are going to store each word which are given in the question like break, case, continue in this two dimensional array. And after this, we'll take another character array str and this character array will be of 20 elements because the length of the input string may be between zero to 20. So for example, if the user gives an input as continue, so that input continue will be stored in C language like this. And after this, what we have to do next is we will take this input and we will search in our two dimensional array, whether this particular string matches with any of the string in this two dimensional array. If it matches with any of the string in the two dimensional array, so we will simply print continue is a keyword or if it does not match, so we will display continue is not a keyword. So first of all, let's see the solution in C language. Then we will see the solution in Java and Python as well. So in this program, first of all, I have created a two dimensional character array with the name keywords having 16 rows and 10 columns. And in this character array, I have stored all the keywords. Now after this, I have taken another character array, which is of 20 elements. And after this using get s, I am taking the input from user. Then after this, I'm taking a flag variable, which is is keyword and initializing it with zero so that we can check if the given string is a keyword or not. Now, after this, there is a for loop. Now inside this for loop, I have initialized I with zero and I'm iterating this particular loop 16 times because we have 16 words, which are the keywords. Then after each iteration, I will be incremented by one. So inside this for loop, there is a condition if strcmp of str comma keywords of i double equals to zero. So inside this condition, first of all, this part will be executed. Now in this part, we are calling a function strcmp, which is present in the header file string.h. Now this function simply takes two arguments, which is our first input string and then the ith element of the keyword array. Now after this, this will compare both of these elements. And if both of them matches, then this string cmp function will return zero. So this means the string which was given by user is present inside this character array. So we will store one in our is keyword flag. After this using break keyword, we will move out of this loop. And after this for loop, there is one more condition if is keyword double equals to one. So if is keyword is one, that means we'll have to print that the given input is a keyword. So we'll display using printf. And after this, if this condition is false, then we will have to display the given string is not a keyword. So first of all, let's run it. Now here I am giving an input else. So as you can see, else is a keyword. Now if I again run this program and this time I am giving an input, which is not a keyword. So as you can see, this input is not a keyword. Therefore we are getting the message. The coding bytes is not a keyword. Now let's see the solution in Java. So first of all, I have created an object of scanner class to take the input from user. And then I have created an array of strings with the name keywords. And inside this array, I am storing all the words which were given in the question. Now after this, we are taking another string str and using kb.next, we are taking the input from the user. And then we are taking a boolean is keyword and initializing it with false. Now after this, we have a for loop. So in this for loop, we have a variable i, which is initialized with zero. And then this loop will iterate till the length of the keyword array, which is our string array. And after each iteration, our i will be incremented by one. Now inside this particular for loop, we are checking whether the ith element in this string array is equal to the given input or not. If this condition is true, then we will set the is keyword to true. And after this, because of break, we will come out of this loop. Then once we come out of this loop, so this if statement will be executed. Now the condition is, is keyword double equals to true. So if the value of is keyword will be equals to true, then only this statement will be executed. 
so this line will display that the given string is a keyword and if this condition is false then this line will be executed and it will display that the given string is not a keyword so now we will run this program and see the output so for example i am giving an input while now as you can see while is not a keyword because while was not present in the list now if i again run this program for the another input which is else so as you can see we are getting the message else is a keyword because else is present in the list now the solution in python is very easy so first of all we are creating a list of strings which is keywords and inside this list we are storing all the words which were given in the question then after this using this line we are taking the input from user and storing it inside string variable then after this we are taking a boolean is keyword and initializing it with false then after this we have this for loop now inside this for loop we are saying for key in keywords which means every time this loop will iterate so we will take one element from this list and we will check if key double equals to string that means if any of the element from this list matches with the given input which is string so if this condition is true then we will modify the value of is keyword with true and then because of this break statement we will come out of this for loop now once we come out of this for loop so this condition will be tested and in this condition if is keyword double equals to true then we will display string is a keyword or else we will display string is not a keyword so now we will run this program and see the output so here i am giving an input while and as you can see while is not a keyword because while is not present in this list now if i again run this program and this time i am giving another input so as you can see this is not a keyword because this is not present in this list so our program is working correctly so i hope the explanation was clear but still if you have any doubt please let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe the coding bytes thanks for watching